Okay, so let's turn off those crosshairs. Hit the icon. Now we're going to create lines offset or parallel to the box we created. So create line parallel side and a distance. And you type in the distance that you want. Pick the line, the side, and type in the distance. If the distance is the same, just hit enter. You click the line, the side, and hit enter. It'll put the same distance. Okay. So that's how you offset a line. Now we're just going to create a line. And we're going to connect uh, the top and the bottom lines midpoint. So we're going to create line endpoint. Then you can choose how it's going to connect. We're going to say midpoint. Now by just hovering close to the line after you choose midpoint, the uh, line will actually anchor to the to the entity. You don't have to try to find a midpoint yourself with the cursor. Okay, so now we're going to trim lines. So we go modify trim one entity. Pick the line and the line to trim to. Pick the line then the line to trim to. This is trim one entity. Also, you can click on the icon up there which shows it cutting one entity. Pick the line, the one you want it to cut to. Pick the line, the one you want it to cut to. And continue. This is trimming one entity. Okay, so now we're going to create some circles. Create, arc, center point and diameter. And down there you can type in what the diameter of your circle is going to be. I'm going to make a quarter inch circles and as I go towards the lines that we created we can snap to certain parts it's going to be endpoint it shows the endpoint there the endpoint of that one as we go down towards the lower end it wants to go to the endpoint and as you look at the right screen it's highlighting in white what it can snap to as you're in that area we're going to create a circle in the center of our part. So I'll create arc, center point, diameter, and then we'll choose what size circle, inch and a half, and then we'll go towards the line and it'll ask us where we want it to snap to or locate the circle. Okay, so let's delete these construction lines since we don't need them any longer. You can also put these on a different layer and turn them on and off. We'll cover that later. Let's drill some holes. You can go to two path, drill, manual. Let's click the center. Pick the entity. Go back center. Pick the entity. And continue center. The entity. And center. And when you're done picking the circles, hit escape, and this will take you to the next screen. Hit done. Now you're ready to pick your tool. Right click, tool from library. I'm looking for a quarter inch drill. There's one. All right. Change the feed. Change the speed. A little coolant. This is going to be drill the quarter inch holes. Now let's look at what we're going to do here. We're going to have a clearance. Let's drill it about half inch deep. And it's set right now for just a regular drill. Let's do peck drilling. And it's showing there about a hundred thousandths of peck. Nothing needs to be done here. Everything looks good. Okay. And there's our locations where we're going to drill. I'm just going to rotate this thing a little bit. Main menu. Now when I hit a toolpath, 
it'll show what's going on there. Okay, this machine is center hole. Tool path, pocket, chain, click on the inside of the circle. Done. Just pick a tool. Be a half inch GML sounds fine. Alright, so cool in. It's gonna be a rough pocket. Let's look at the parameters. Okay, we're gonna go in half inch deep, so type of 500, and we're gonna do depths of cut. So I wanna go 100 thousandths at a time. So it'll make a circle at 100, then it'll make a circle at 200, and so on. My leaf some material against on the wall for a finish pass. Now, how do I want to make this pocket? It's a circle, so I'd like to do a spiral circle from the center. And you're going to want to click on start from the middle and go out. What kind of a step do we want the tool to make every time it does a circle? How far over does it shift? And let's use where. That way, if there's anything that we need to adjust as far as the hole size, we can do that in the control. Tool path operations. There it is right there. Let's verify it. See what it looks like. I'm going to play it. There's one pass at 100 deep. Pass at 200 deep. And so forth. Spiraling outward from the center. Because we clicked on that little button that says from center out. Okay, so let's put a point on the end of the circle. So I'm going to tell it end point. I want to click on the circle, and it's going to put the point at the far center right hand side of the circle. That's where the break point for a circle really is. So now I want to do a tool path. Real popular thing to do or common would be just do a clean up, make a clean up circle in the center of a part. So and put in the general data and lead in lead out now lead in lead out you don't need an arc on going in or going out you just need uh, the line that you're going to use to move into the circle and it's going to be perpendicular on both sides of the screen so make sure it says perpendicular and there it is you see it moving to the right let's rotate this a little bit and then it does its circle I want to go two path and um, operation to do back plot run this now the thing that's not great about this is it's pushing to your right hand side instead of pushing up so we're gonna modify and break to many pieces this arc a couple of segments we're gonna do four segments Type in four and then do it. Main menu. Now this arc is in four equal sections. And you need that so that you can tell your tool how to approach for cutting a circle. So let's put some points at the end of each endpoint of the circle. One there, there, in the lower section, and front. Those are the four. Okay, so let's machine this pocket going to be a finish pass, contour, chain. Now we click on the top of the circle. Since it's broken into four segments, that's where the tool will go as it leads in. Okay, so looking at the parameters, everything looks good. Type in finish pass. Uh, contour, all the parameter settings. We're going to go minus a uh, half inch. And we're going to do a uh, Zero, zero material to leave. Lead in. We want make sure that that's checked off. That's gonna. We just want that always to be off. Okay, these one we want the, them to be the same, perpendicular at 100 percent. And then the arc, both of those are gonna say zero. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna rotate this. Right click, 
rotates green and I want to do a operations click on the sequence we just made and do a back plot I want to run it you'll notice how the tool went up and did its circle that's because we broke the circle into segments and we chose the top segment to start. 